So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video was recorded during the early access for the Hunter Power Pack, so a huge thank you to EW for allowing me to take part in this early access. Now you may remember that not too long ago I did a video about a pack that appeared on the Xbox store called the Hirschfelden Veteran Cosmetic Pack. Well, as I've been playing on this early access, I went into the gun customization screen and I noticed that the cosmetic for the Hirschfelden Veteran Cosmetic Pack were actually available in this customization screen. So starting off we have the Hirschfelden Dark Grey Paint which is basically the matte black coloration that we could actually see in the sort of little teaser picture that it said coming soon next to. Then we have the Hirschfelden Tan Paint which is actually kind of nice. I kind of like this coloration more than I necessarily would have thought. It looks pretty nice on the gun actually. We are using the new 308 here as an example just to show these off. It's just sort of an off-white colour. It's nice to have but not necessarily my favourite. Then we have the Hirschfelden green paint. So sort of a more olivey green colour, sort of a bit darker. Comes out looking pretty nice on the 308. It's just another nice paint that is another nice option to have. Then moving on to the next one and we have the Hirschfelden dark brown paint. Again, nothing too exciting, just a nice colour that you can add to your rifles. Looks pretty nice though, the same as pretty much all of the just standard paint colours. They all look pretty much the same just in the different colours they all look pretty good. Then we have the Hirschfelden brown paint so it's just a lighter brown than the previous one. So again nice colour but nothing too really exciting just another nice paint. Then we have this we have the Hirschfelden spruce spray. This is quite nice it's quite subtle I kind of like it. I'm not entirely sure about it, but I kind of like it because it is nice and subtle. It's not too much and not too, you know, bold of a pattern. Then we have the Hirschfelden stripe spray. Now this just looks like someone's gone at this with a, a spray can basically and put stripes on it. That is basically what this, this one actually looks like to me. It's an interesting paint job to say the least. Then we have the Hirschfelden aspen spray and I actually like this. It reminds me of when you have like light streaking through trees in a forest and you have the shadows of the leaves. That's what this one reminds me of and I think it's quite pretty. Again, not too in your face, pretty simple and I think that's nice. Then we have the Hirschfelden beech wood. I think this is so pretty. This is such a nice finish. I absolutely love this. It looks so good on this 308. It is just so gorgeous. I am so happy that this is in the pack. This is just beautiful. Then we have another wood finish. We have the Hirschfelden spruce wood. I like this one as well, not as much as the previous, but this is a nice looking finish as well. It's nice and shiny. It looks really pretty and it is a nice finish for any rifle, I would say. It looks pretty well done to me. Just nice to have some wood finishes, I think, in a pack like this. I really, really like them. Then moving on to the next one and we have the Hirschfelden Woodbark Camo. So you can see camouflage patterns from the Hirschfelden Hunting Reserve theme. So that's why I'm pretty confident these are all from the Hirschfelden uh, Veteran Pack. And they all seem to be on that little teaser picture as well. So I'm pretty sure these are all included. But I might be wrong or things might be changed because this was recorded during early access. Then we have the Hirschfelden Spur Camo. Again, kind of a stripey one. So both of them are like stripey kind of looking patterns and like I said I'm pretty sure these were the ones that were shown in the little teaser pictures and it again says camouflage patterns from the Hirschfelden hunting reserve so again pretty confident that these are from the pack and then we have the Hirschfelden premium wrap now I'm really confident that this is in there that is a gorgeous gorgeous looking camo wrap absolutely beautiful but I do just want to reiterate there was no like official list or anything so basically what I've done is took a look at the little teaser picture that we actually saw from Xbox and I've tried to match up the camos that were shown in that little teaser. I think I've managed to match them all up but like I said we weren't given any more information about this pack, wasn't given a list of which cosmetics are included in it for sure but I'm pretty sure these are all the ones that were shown in that teaser picture so I tried my best to actually match them 
much that I could show them off because they do look really, really beautiful. And it was one of the first things I noticed when I went into the customization menu is that there were camos that matched up to those pictures. So I was very excited to actually see them. Now, like I said, we weren't given any more information about this pack and I just found these cosmetics while looking through the customization menu as I was just playing in the early access. So unfortunately, I don't know for sure if this will be a paid DLC. I do expect it to be a paid DLC as the New England Mountains veteran pack was a paid DLC, but I also don't know how much it will cost if it is paid as we weren't given that information. But I just really wanted to show off what the camo patterns actually look like on the rifles because I think they look really, really beautiful. But that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think of these new cosmetics. I think they've done a really nice job. I think there's some really useful and beautiful new camos and sprays and stuff in this pack. I'm really excited to be able to use it. Again, apologies that I don't have information on pricing or anything like that but hopefully we will get that information soon seeing as the update is coming in only four days time and it seems like this will be coming with the update seeing as it was part of the early access. Once again a huge thank you to EW for allowing me to take part in this early access and yeah that's going to be it for this video so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.